Hey guys, this is Kent from the Games Den. Today I'm playing Formula One 2018, and this is going to be my career mode playthrough. If anyone who saw the previous video on my channel, I showed some of the uh, classic cars like the Lotuses, and uh, I also did raced as uh, Kimi Raikkonen. There was a trophy that you go for where you have to win as Kimi on the, at the Spanish Grand Prix. Okay. Here we go, this is this will be my career pro playthrough. If you enjoy this video, it'd be cool if you could subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hopefully reach 2,000 subscribers. I think we need like another 100 or so to reach that. It'd be great if you could support us. Obviously, we've got this game a week early, so you know that we, you know, we get most of the games early, so you can see them before you buy them. Okay. So we're at Bahrain. So what you've got to do here is, if you look on practice one, you might be thinking, why do I want to do all the practice and stuff like that? Well, what they've done is they've put in like, almost like mini games for you to score extra points. Welcome to the deserts of Bahrain, where the Formula One circus has rolled into town. We're expecting the cars to appear out on tracks. Here you go. So look, if I do... So you've got the session info here. So what you've got is you basically do all these different ones you see across the top, acclimatization, management, etc., etc., and then you get a point score, and you can have a maximum of 325 resource points. And basically you use you use those to upgrade the car. So if I go for the acclimatization first of all. We have a number of programs to run during these practice sessions. You can check the details in the car monitor. We'll get good data for both the race and factory teams, so they're well worth running. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the soft. just because it'll give me a bit more grip. So this is, you'll see, the, you'll see the difference. So the target score of 325, which is quite hard to hit actually. It's virtually no mistakes to do that. started so I have got to hit these gates now you can throw in a rewind if you miss one and I suggest you do because otherwise you'll never hit the target score my way seriously DRS zone so you gotta play it press triangle if you don't do that then also that counts as a miss Oh shit. Uh, uh, panic. Fuck, I just hit that one. And we've missed it, so what you can do is rewind. Sure, I did that first corner, didn't I? I got that one.
Ah, oh, missed it. I'll show you what happens if you miss. Like, so I only miss one. It really affects your score. DRS. I'm trying to stay in the zone, see if I can do it. Oh, just squeak that one. No, missed it. Let's go back. That's when the rewinds are absolutely invaluable. No, I didn't take that one fast enough. Too cautious. Don't think I'll beat my first lap, 445. That was really good. So if you're wondering, you can't just like, you couldn't just go slowly through them because basically it doesn't, won't give you the gate score if you're too slow. That forces you to really go full out. And now we've got a bit of traffic, but shouldn't cause us any problems. DRS. Okay, so return to garage. Okay, so I got 60 there, which is not bad. If I go for the, what's the good one? Oh, they want me to run this one. I get 90 for that. Three laps. I'll do it. I'll do that. It's going to be harder though because of the. Uh, there's a fair amount of traffic. 10 of 20 drivers are out there, so I don't know how this will go. It's worth doing these. Basically, these. What what I'm doing is these. You don't have to do this, but these points that you rack up, you use them in the research and development. So basically, the more points you get, the more you'll have to spend on upgrading your car. So it'll make you more competitive, like it'll improve the parts, improve the quality of parts and like the reliability of parts. And also your crew, you, imp you can improve your like pit crew as well. Not your pit crew, like your engineers, I mean, stuff like that. Right, so you'll see top right, there's a target time. So I'm currently under that time. 
but it's going to be hard because of the bloody traffic. He, he did move for me, that guy. He tucked in. Oh shit, 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 shit. I find one of the challenging things I find if I hit a rumble strip, it really throws me off like more than more than I'm imagining it's gonna. Like it's weird, it's like there's a certain like if you just clip it, it seems to throw me off. Like whereas if I ride straight over the top of it, I seem to get away with it. Like there, it it basically I hit it with my left wheels and it it's trying it tries to pull you left a bit. Which is the opposite to the way you want to be going. Whoa. DRS. Okay, cool. So we got it. We got their target time. So there's no need to do. Let's see. nice one so if you look down the bottom resource points that's now on 155 of 325 alright how many what programs so what we've got here complete a full lap using minimal fuel complete a lap with at least two different car setups during a practice okay so if I go for Hmm. Uh, hang on, let me have a look at the where's the car setups. Here we go. So let's go for hmm. I tell you what, we we'll go for increased downfalls. Oh, my bad. R one. And we go for tire management. I don't like this tire management program, I've got to say. Okay, so this time. what you got is you've got a target time so you can't just like dawdle round and save the tyres see the bar at the top I've got to get that in at least green but I've also got to get under the time that they're setting me there so you've got to be fast but you've also got to be I don't even know it seems to just flow back and forth whenever it wants on the tire turns obviously the tires are gripping more so it affects you Okay, I'm three seconds up. Maybe I need to be a bit ca more careful. Let's see what happens. Nice one. Return to the garage. So they didn't take long. If you nail it first lap.
tire management. What are the other ones we got? What have we got? We've got fuel management, but there's only five minutes left. I don't know if there'll be enough time. Not enough time. Are okay, any of them? This track. The temperatures may be lower than they were a few years ago, thanks to the new start time, but this is still the desert. Okay, so we've completed the objectives. So I'm going to accelerate time for the remainder. As all the cars are now over the line, your top three again are Lucky, Vettel, and Daniel Ricciardo. Practice times are on the board then, but no points are on offer just yet. We'll be back with more F1 action soon. Wow, I'm miles ahead. I'm like six seconds ahead. All right, fair enough. That's probably when I was in the zone doing those gates. I was like in the zone on that first lap. I think that's the first time I haven't didn't miss one. Here we go. You can see the resource points coming up now. So all of that, 700, I'll be able to use that. And your reputation creeps up each time. Well, unless you do badly. They want me to be a showman whereas I was a little bit I was a little bit more um, sportsman that's what happens is they ask you like different questions okay no messages there you go I won the first race my rival is Vettel you can add other ones later on. Here we go. Here's the R&D tree, which I was telling you about. So I've got, if you top, look top right, I've got 700 points to spend. I was spending them on power. I've already done that one. So I've got 700, so if I do if it me, this is probably what I'd invest in. recommend it wants me to do central under tray, upgrade prices reduced 2%, failure chance reduced 1%. So it's a small amount, but we'll go for it. Oh, I'm getting a little discount. So it's like chipping away as you go through the season. So that's going to take two weeks to develop. I've still got 200 points left, but I'll save them for the future. I mean, it's small stuff, but it all adds up, as they say. And you can do like 10, I think you can do 10 seasons, so you can imagine. And sometimes they'll like pull certain things out with the rules. Whoa. What? A cooling fault? I've not had that before. That is interesting. So if I go back... So you're not going to sit and wait, so let's do skip repair time. So I'm, sh I'm presuming it will just take that chunk off. which is exactly what's happened. It's taken that chunk off. All right, we better get out there. It's very realistic this time around. That was as in like five minutes, but on the other hand, it's cool that the game throws in things like that randomly. And we are in Bahrain, so it's flipping hot. So they've obviously, that's why they put it in with a cooling problem. 
So this time it's fuel saving. So you gotta be like less aggressive on your accelerating. But you've also got to go under the target time. You see, look, I'm slightly over at the start. I find this one the most annoying one. It's really hard. Like, how do I beat the time, but also be easy on the fuel? Is he going to let me through? I'll have to undertake. Alright, so my lap time, I'm two seconds up, so... It's weird, I try to go fast enough to make it, but also I want to drop into the purple if I can. I did it. See, I would have got one. Easy got one. I was coming off the accelerator to save fuel on the line. All right, so we're up to 285 or 325. So let's go for something else. Let's go for. We go for the race strategy. Hopefully I'll get to uh, get a faster lap time because I want to get the fastest time in each practice. There's an achievement for fastest time in each practice, get pole position and win the race. That's a trophy or an achievement if you like as well on Xbox. It's funny, I'm competing against my own teammate. But that's what it's really like, and that's what Formula One's all about. It's always like teammates going against each other. But I always think they just let Vettel win everything. Okay, so it says I'm six. Okay, super job so far. We're getting great data. Stay focused. All right. So this one is really about beating the time. You've got to beat that lap time at least, I think, three times in a row. I think it's three, even though it says five laps up the top. 
if I do it, I think you'll see after three, they'll tell me I can come in. There's Alonso. I'll give you guys a look at the other settings. Look, there's that one. The other views, cockpit views. I find it harder with this one because you get slightly less track ahead of you, if you know what I mean. Slightly more car. So if I change again, you've got that one from behind. Then you got an even further pulled back version. DRS. Let's change again. You got this, which is a bit mental, it feels. Really, really low. That one's disorientating. Then you've got the bumper view, which isn't much better. Here's the in-car view. I'll show you this for a little bit. It is much harder. And then, that's where I was. I like that view. It's like helmet cam on top of his helmet. No naughty jokes. I would have cost myself a bit of time there, switching the views. Let's get ready for the DRS. Now. I might as well, I wonder what happens if you do all five. Let's see if I can string together, it looks like less traffic, I reckon I can get a better time. There. I wonder what he was going to say then. I thought he was, thought he was going to say he was in P1 again. Is this a faster lap? Final lap this is.
car, shit. I cost myself a little bit there. It's so tempting to just go that little bit too fast in the corners. was the fastest lap. Oh sorry guys I was so intent on racing there. Yeah I'm playing this on PS4 Pro console using just the standard controller, standard PS4 controller which is probably a lot harder than it would be if I had the wheel. Okay so let's have a look. Resource points I'm on 315. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's this one. ERS management is the last one. But I don't think I've got enough time for that. Hi, Owen. Yeah, I got it early. I've already had it a couple of days. Uh, I got my copy from Codemasters because I do reviews. I've been doing game reviews for about nine years. You can check out my website, thegamesden.net. We've got a written review up. There's a couple of us guys who do do it. So yeah, be cool if you could subscribe because I get most games at least a week early. So we'll accelerate time here and go to th third practice and I'll do the ERS management. Quick look at the classification at the end of the session then. Here are your top three. Lucky, Fettel and Valtteri Bottas. That concludes an interesting practice session. Let's hope for more excitement as the weekend unfolds. It's weird because I had to pick a name. At the start, you pick what your name's going to be. And obviously, they didn't have Kent. They didn't have any real normal names. So I just went with Lucky, which is a bit weird. have a look got plenty more points I know right Owen ha I should have gone with unlucky Owen thinks it's funny in the chat that I went with lucky all right I've got a good chance here this could be one of the trophies in the game is for getting all the uh, all the points you can possibly get in practice. So we're on 315. So I'm hoping ERS management. Maybe that means once I've nailed this one, I'll be done. I just want to make sure I get the fastest lap time as well. Harvest energy and deploy it as effectively as possible in a lap. I've got no idea. Seriously, guys. I'm not I'm totally not clued up as to what good ERS management means but hopefully they'll tell me what I need to do
Oh no, it's got the little bar again. I really should have read. Hang on, let's see. There is a tutorial here. Let's have a look. A guide to using the ERS. Modern F1 cars rely on more than just internal combustion to reach their maximum power output. The V6 turbocharged hybrid engines generate an extra 160 brake horsepower via the ERS energy recovery system. The power for this electric motor is recovered from energy that otherwise would have been wasted. The MG UK recovers energy from braking and the MG UH from the turbo. The ERS system has a number of modes that can be changed on the fly for either more harvest or deployment, depending on if you need to charge the battery or gain more performance. Oh god. Each lap you can only harvest and deploy a limited amount of energy. This remaining value is visible on the MFD. Hi mate, yeah I got the game early because I've been running a site for the last nine years, the gamesden.net. So yeah I get all games early, I've had this a couple of days already. All right, so we can harvest the energy. So braking is actually important in this mode because it can reuse the energy. I've got to watch the time though, I've still got to be under the time. Oh yeah, if, if I, I need to break more almost. I feel like I'm cheating the system by like breaking to get more energy back in. Oh shit, my time's gone. Go, 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 go. Nice, I'll take that one. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. I, pre I picked Ferrari because I thought, one, I'll probably be rubbish at this game. Two, I better get myself a good car if I'm going to like stream it so I don't look absolutely terrible. But the game's a little easier and more forgiving than I thought. So, yeah, I agree with you. And for sure, in my own playthrough, I'm going to pick the worst car and start at the bottom. All right, so you can see now at the bottom there, I've got all the resource points, 325 of 325. So, let's have a look. What I'm going to do is, where's that? I'm going to do this qualifying pace one again, so I want to put in a slightly better lap time. Because I was messing about there. The settings they were wanting me to do. You know what it's like on YouTube, whatever you do, like if I'd have picked a, the rubbish cars, people would be going, why have you picked the rubbish car? And then someone else would be like, why have you picked the best car? And then like, why are you driving like manual, all, all assists off? Or you're rubbish, why don't you put some assists on? <laughs> It 
In fact, if people only said you're rubbish, I'd be happy with that. They don't say you're rubbish. They say they say other words. <laughs> But we'll see. You guys will all have the game next week, so we could all race online. That would be cool. There's a lot of uh, online achievements and trophies as well. You've got to reach like certain levels online. Oh, I've gone wide there talking. You've also got to be like quite sporting online so you got to do like clean laps and then obviously not hit other cars which I always find interesting because you know what it's like in an online race if someone hits you up the arse and knocks you into someone else or someone knocks you off you know do you still get penalised I normally find that you do which is annoying Got to dip in here. I'll read the comments after the, after this lap. I should have put the comments on the TV. Okay, that's enough. I think that's enough for. Yeah, you want to get the platinum trophy? Yeah, me too, mate. We'll have to uh, so we'll have to set up a private race if we can't manage to do it. Maybe it will let us do some of the stuff in private. Let's have a look at the times. Okay, so I'm five seconds up, so I'm going to accelerate time. Make sure oh, Lewis has pulled back a bit there. Vettel's taken him. I look safe. About three seconds up on him. An interesting practice session there then. Let's remind ourselves of the top three. Who are Lucky, oh, Vettel, I got a trophy. and Lewis Hamilton. Thank you for joining us for free practice today. We'll be back with more Formula One. That was a silver trophy. Shortly. I expect the best, it said, so I guess that was for getting the full 325 points. Great work out there today. Here we How go. Do you think it went? You really went all out in practice today. Are you testing new components? You were flying in practice. Do you think you can carry this over to qualifying? Ha. Huh. Appreciate your time. Sorry about that guys, had someone ring the doorbell. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? Right, on we go. Let's get the qualifying done. Let's get into this race. Oh, here you go, I've got some messages. 
Good luck out there, blah blah. Here's the weather. Yeah, he's telling me about the track. I know about the track, mate. I've been doing all the practice stuff. I was go he's asking me about the difficulty. Why so low difficulty? One, because it's the first time I've streamed it. And two, I didn't know how difficult it was going to be. I wanted to get the trophy for for the um, getting the times on the in the practice and qualifying that's why I'll be turning it up fear not DRS You see, you got to remember with these games, Fantastic. You've got pole. pole position, thank you very much. Not everyone is like a huge Formula 1 fan, some people just like racing games. Your top three are Lucky, Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. Goodbye for now then, but we're really... But, you're probably right, I've probably got it slightly too easy. Depends if you're like a trophy or an achievement person or not. If you are a trophy or achievement person, you will totally understand me. If you're not, yeah, you might not. Alright, more resource points, that's good. My reputation slowly increasing. All right, I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Oh, look, you could simulate the race session. Why would you do that? Unless there was like some, you can imagine if there was some like trophy for like doing like 20 seasons, you'd be like simulate, simulate, simulate. If that was your last one left. The curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir. We're almost ready to go then. And this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lucky lines up on pole position. Lucky lines up on pole position. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Vettel, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen. All right. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Try to cover the inside line off the start. Mm. 
Yeah, I didn't cover the inside line because they're much faster than me. But I nipped in. I nipped back in. They left me a little gap. They're so classic, in it? For a computer game to like, they'll make the others like slightly faster off the line than you. Tires feel different at the start. I'm way ahead. I probably have got it slightly too easy. That's better, done that corner a bit better that time. Be cool anyone still watching at this point if you could subscribe to the channel, be great, we're trying to hit 2,000 subs so every little helps
I'm basically going to up the difficulty as I go through. Anyone watching the previous video, we were doing it on medium. But that was with the classic cars. They're a lot slower. I got a feeling I might win this race. Six seconds, okay. Yeah, I definitely need to pump up the difficulty for the next round of races. This is only my second one, though. Like I said, I was working on the trophies, but now I've knocked out a couple of them. Oh, look, my fuel lights flashing. They must put in exactly the right amount of fuel for like a five lap race. Nice one. Superb driving. That's the race win. Sandy Strachan, play on pro difficulty. Yeah, you play on pro in your career, Sandy. <laughs> I'm not good enough for pro. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep I will them, move it the up. better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. There's my dude. I wish they had more than one victory animation. It's like... It's good though, they nailed the and driver's now let's faces. Take a look at the driver's standings. Lucky increases their championship lead. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going to say Brendan Hartley. It was probably one of his Who? best drives this season, and I was thoroughly impressed. Yeah, I was Onto six seconds up, so have a look at the standings. Extend their lead at the top of the championship. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their See, I've got to do it though, because like Vettel's oh, letting me down. Lewis has got in on him. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until the next race. Good day today. Tell oh, us here she goes. Right, let's have a look. How are you feeling after that win? Hmm. You must be thrilled to be up on the podium. Showmanship increased. Great. Well, that's everything. You've basically got to be Billy Big Bollocks in this team. Just large it. Well, 
nice one clean sweep on the rivalry front Oh man, nice. 1,100 points to put on the next one. Team goal, yeah, another 400. Nice. Reputation's up. Still a rookie. Moves slightly towards showmanship. I just have to remember to large it. Good drive, cracks on the pro. Don't let it go to your head. I think some of our guys need a morale boost and you delivered it. Alright guys, I'm going to take a break there. I've been playing for two hours today. Don't forget to check out my other Formula One videos. Maybe subscribe to the channel. I'll be back on later today and tonight with some more, showing you more about the game. And I 100% promise to be playing on a harder difficulty. Thanks very much for watching guys.